This movie shows the basic functionality of the Proteus licensing web portal. This console lets owners of Proteus cloud licenses manage and monitor their license usage. When you purchase a cloud license, you will receive admin login credentials to the web portal. This is the master login for your organization. When you log in, you are presented with the dashboard view. This shows some basic usage metrics at the top, along with quick links underneath and a menu on the left hand side. The licenses page shows all the purchased licenses available to the organization along with the number of seats. The divisions view is where we need to start initial configuration. This is where we assign our keys for use. Each division we create is allocated one license key. For example, a company might create a division for each office or a university for each department using Proteus. We also create a password for the division to allow people to log into Proteus. At this point, we have a working system. In our example, anyone with the engineering credentials can log on and access the license from the license key assigned to the engineering division. Also, anyone with the physics credentials can log on and use one of those licenses. Licenses will be granted on a first come, first serve basis. This is fine for basic use, but often we need to reserve licenses for a particular purpose or to a particular person. This is what groups are for. We create groups whenever we need to reserve seats at a given time. Each group gets a name and password that members can log on with. Commercially, this may be to reserve seats to a team or a project, but in our example, we'll set up a classroom for engineering and also one just for the engineering instructor. We'll also set up another classroom in the physics division. The calendar colors just help us differentiate between the reservations on the calendar. Now we use the reservation system to make sure we have the seats we need whenever we need them. Here we'll create a reservation on the engineering class for 50 seats a couple of hours each weekday until the end of term. During the reservation time, 50 seats will be removed from the license pool and guaranteed to be available to the engineering class group. In our example, the license pool therefore shrinks from 100 seats to 50 seats while the reservation is active. Anyone logging in with group credentials during this time will always get a license. Anyone logging in with other credentials will use one of the remaining 50 seats in the pool. At the end of the reservation period, the 50 seats are released back into the division pool. Now regardless of the credentials used to log in, everyone is once again using the 100 seats now available in the pool. We can see our reservations on the calendar view, we can also quickly add other reservations here. This time we'll add a permanent reservation for the instructor's use and then a weekly reservation for the physics class. Since we're logged on as the organization admin, we can see all the reservations on a common calendar and create groups and reservations for all divisions. It's often useful to give each division a login so they can manage their own license usage. We do this from the administrator's link. Creating a division admin allows a technician or instructor in a division to manage the use of the license key. This is particularly important when each division is actually a separate office or campus. It is also useful if a division is a department in a college. If we set up a division admin for the engineering department and then log in with the division credentials, we'll see only the groups and reservations for the engineering department. This would be true of the usage metrics as well. Divisional admins will see usage for their division while organization admins will see an overview of usage across all divisions in the organizations. <laughs> 